On November 18, 2013, TEPCO started to remove fuel from the Unit 4 spent fuel pool at Fukushima Daiichi Nuclear Power Station. During this, fuel stored in the spent fuel pool is placed inside a transportation cask and then transported to the common pool. TEPCO is ensuring that the utmost attention is paid to the safety of the people and any possible impact on the surrounding environment. TEPCO has taken a significant step forward in its work to decommission the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power station, which will require 30 to 40 years to complete. First, the cask in which the fuel is to be transported is lowered into the spent fuel pool. Next, a newly installed fuel handling machine carefully lifts up fuel assemblies one by one at a speed of approximately one centimeter per second and loads them into the cask. It is possible that small pieces of debris have become trapped between the fuel and the rack. Therefore, we conduct the work carefully watching and confirming each stage via an underwater camera and a measuring instrument. The fuel loading takes place underwater where radiation is shielded. Therefore, the radiation dose around the work area does not increase. The fuel handling machine is equipped with a sensor, which automatically stops the machine when an abnormal weight is detected. We will continue the work with full attention paid to safety. The cask, loaded with 22 fuel assemblies, is lowered with a crane to a trailer on the ground. The wire structure for lowering the cask employs double wires and is capable of raising and lowering the cask using only one wire. Therefore, even in the unlikely event that one of the wires breaks, the cask will not fall. The cask is transported to another building and the fuel taken out to be stored in the common pool. We have conducted this operation 1,200 times previously and therefore have ample experience. Furthermore, the operators were fully prepared and trained for this operation, for example, by participating in a special program on using the fuel handling machine and the crane. In addition, we have received confirmation on the operation from Mr. Lake Barrett, an outside expert and a former U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission official, and from other international third parties. We will conduct this operation safely and steadily. The transfer of all 1,533 fuel assemblies is scheduled for completion by the end of 2014.